Ah, I'm going to do a video about animation um, in the next day or so. Um, I'm working on something on, on, on a project that literally has been, has been in the pipeline for, I think, six years now. Um, so I hope over Christmas I'll get it finished. Um, but I can't do that now um, because um, the, the news which is coming out, which has been coming out in the last 24 hours, is so alarming. Uh, I think I need to talk about that, about um, lockdown, about the closures of our ports and airports. It's plunging us into um, isolation before we even get to the Brexit deadline. Um, uh, London is now isolated in a way that, for example, Sydney is isolated. Um, but at the same time, they've got this mutant strain, um, which is terrifying. Uh, but, you know, it was always a known problem. It's not something entirely new. The speed of its, um, of its transition seems to be new. Um, so what is it? It's not a medical problem particularly. It is a medical problem, but it's not primarily a medical problem. It's a political problem. It's about um, not having the guts to deal with this. Uh, about perhaps wanting to be liked. That's not the job of our prime minister. It's not the job of our um, political leaders to be liked. This is something uh, some politicians understand, some politicians simply do not understand. Um, and uh, the other problem is that we're in a society at the moment where um, we think that the answer to all our problems is bureaucracy. And it isn't. Bureaucracy is a tool. It's not an answer. It's a, it, it, it's a way to delay um, taking action. Um, sometimes that's useful, to delay and think. It gives us pause. But in this particular case, I think that's the wrong approach. We need action. So at the moment, what have we got? We've got, we've got disasters piling up. We've got um, Royal Mail is in a mess. We've got the prisons thinking about releasing inmates. Um, I remember uh, when I was first in Greece that the, um, uh, that the prison system in Albania collapsed and the inmates were released and came over the border. Um, you know, releasing prisoners is not necessarily a solution, though I think possibly we have too many people in prison. Prison itself may need reform. Um, you know, that's, uh, that, 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 that's, uh, we've got so many things to talk about over the next few days. I've got so many little talks to do, I think. Um, but did you see Matt Hancock on television this morning? Matt, Han Matt Hancock on the Andrew Marr programme. I mean, oh, my goodness, if there's ever a man that needs some serious coaching about how to appear on television, he just looks, as, he's just playing the victim. Why should we feel sorry for somebody who is taking decisions on our behalf? That's what he's elected to do. He needs to, you know, tighten his belt and get on with it. Um, and I, I, his other thing is, he's taken tautology, he's taken it even beyond the Mrs May fantasy. Um, Brexit is Brexit. That means nothing. The police should police. That means nothing. It's tautological. Um, it's, um, it's saying nothing. Um, instead, the message he was giving us was to look sad and hopeless. Um, this isn't leadership. You know, uh, on Wednesday, he was mocking the Labour Party for suggesting that they, uh, that, 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 that we should cancel Christmas or we should postpone Christmas or something. Actually, not a bad idea because Christmas is a season which goes on for uh, at least 30, maybe 14 days, depending on whether or not you acknowledge the Russian and the Armenian uh, Christmas celebrations, you know. Um, and, um, I, and also we've got the idea of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, Christmas is a, um, it, it, it is a mobile feast. Um, but, you know, at, 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 at the moment, uh, so, 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 so Matt Hancock was criticising the Labour Party for doing exactly what the government is now doing. 
Um, you know, as U turns go, this one is um, a disastrous uh, own goal. Uh, that's too many metaphors, isn't it? Um, but we've got 35,000 new COVID cases. We have to take action. Um, and in this climate of chaos, there seems to be only one voice of reason, which is extraordinary. And that's up in Scotland uh, from Nicola Sturgeon, who's saying you know, Boris should now be um, contacting the EU and asking for a delay in the transition period, an extension to the transition period. That would make sense, uh, unless he is determined on a no-deal Brexit, which may also be the case. Um, you know, I, I, hmm. when it comes to Brexit, so much of the negotiation is again about this, um, this, this, this nonsense thing about bureaucracy. We live in a society where the answer to everything seems to be to add more bureaucracy, to employ more people to produce more paperwork at a time when actually we want to go paperless. Um, you know, if you think of 9-11, what happened at 9-11? Now, this huge um, uh, growth in bureaucratic systems in America, they had the entire new Department of Homeland Security. Uh, they centralised um, the airline and the transport industries. We, 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 we had similar bureaucracies developing over here. Um, th that um, process gave us time to think about how we deal with the development of um, the, 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 the sort of global terrorism. Uh, when we had the banking crisis, uh, the approach of our governments was to develop new levels of bureaucracy. It gave us time to think about how to deal with the problem. With the pandemic, we've tried to approach it in much the same way, to add new levels of bureaucracy. And we're doing that in the UK at the same time as adding new levels of bureaucracy in order to deal with Brexit, which was something that we voted for. So we've got this double whammy of bureaucracy, double whammy of delay, when we should in fact be moving into action, when we should in fact be doing things. So um, what we need now is goodwill and action. What we need now is that sort of goodwill that we saw in March that was destroyed uh, perhaps by, um, by, by, by Mr. Cummings' um, trip to get his eyes tested. Um, I think there's no better time for encouraging goodwill than Christmas. I remember Christmas, I, I, I will do a little piece about the origins of Christmas because uh, Christmas um, and, and, you know, our, our Christmas tree, look, 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 this is my Christmas tree. Christmas, um, uh, as we've got it today, although it has its origins in a religious festival, um, really the Christmas that we're thinking of was invented um, over a period of about 20 years, uh, maybe starting with, um, with, 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 the, um, uh, with, with the poem, The Night Before Christmas, um, and, then, uh, uh, and, and then blossoming um, with uh, Charles Dickens' uh, tale of the Christmas Carol and the invention of the first, uh, the sending of the first uh, Christmas card and Prince Albert and Queen Victoria's um, Christmas tree in Windsor. Uh, but um, the, 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 the Christmas that is celebrated today is about fellowship and goodwill and about reaching out in friendship to others. There seems to me, that seems to me to be the central message that we need to be projecting at the moment. So rather than thinking of Christmas being cancelled this year, we should think of Christmas being the great celebration uh, that we need, where we are thinking about each other, 
where we are united in a spirit of goodwill. So um, I, I, I'll come back to all that in the next few days and there'll be one or two little um, Hallam's looking for attention. But, uh, here, here she is. She's, she's, it, it's extraordinary. It's extraordinary that my cats are, 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 are sort of um, hanging on. Um, I'm giving them so much medicine. You cannot imagine the amount of medicine they're having. Um, but they're, they're, they're looking quite sort of rosy at the moment. Anyway, so on that positive note, um, my um, <laughs> what I think really began as a sort of rant is over. And I will get back and I will be doing a, a video about um, my animation project and also about the development of Christmas in the next few days. So do subscribe and come and join me. Bye-bye.